Welcome to the React 3D Circular Charts tutorial. The Syncfusion React 3D Circular Charts component provides a circular or pie chart that is presented in an appealing three-dimensional shape. As with a traditional 2D circular chart, each slice in a 3D circular chart is sized according to its proportion within the entire dataset. In this video, I will show you how to create a React app and add the Syncfusion React 3D Circular Charts component to it. I will also show you a few of its basic features, like data labels, legends, and tool tips. Before proceeding, make sure you have installed the latest versions of Node.js and React. I'll be using Visual Studio Code as my editor and showing the output in the Chrome browser. First, I open Visual Studio Code and create a new application using the command npx create react app. I name it my React app. Since I want to create the app with TypeScript, I add the template TypeScript. Next, I navigate to the newly created React app. To use the 3D circular charts component, I type the command npm install at syncfusion slash ej2 react charts hyphen hyphen save to install the package. Before using a syncfusion component, I need to register a trial license key. I open the index.tsx file and import the register license method from the Syncfusion EJ2 base package. Using this method, I register the trial license key. For instructions on how to generate a trial key, refer to the link in the description for this video. Next, I open the app TSX file and remove the default code snippets. After that, I import the Circular Charts 3D component from the Syncfusion EJ2 React Charts package and include the Circular Chart 3D component tag inside the division tag. To add the data source for the 3D Circular Chart, I need to add the Circular Chart 3D Series Collection Directive tag, which receives n number of Circular Chart 3D Series Directive tags. Here I set the single circular chart 3D series directive tag. Then I define an object named circular data with two fields, X and Y. I assign this object to the data source property of the circular chart 3D series directive tag and map the X field to the X name property and the Y field to the Y name property. Here, I am going to render the 3D circular chart as a Pi series, so I import the Pi series 3D module and inject it into the services. Then, to set the slope angle, I add the tilt property and set it to minus 45. I run this application using the command npm start. See now, the 3D circular chart is rendered with the defined data source. To enable rotation in the 3D circular chart, I set the enable rotation property to true. Now I can rotate the chart. Next, I am going to set the title for the chart. To do that, I add the title property and set the value as Berlin 2023 Special Olympics Gold Medals. You can now see the circular chart with a title. Now let's see how to add data labels to display information about the data points. First, I import the circular chart data label 3D module and inject it into the services. Then I add the data label object and enable the visible property. To customize the label position, I set the position property to outside. 
I map the X field to the name property. To customize the connector line, I add the connector style property and set the length to 50 pixels and width to 2. You can see the pie chart data labels on each of its data points. Next, I am going to show you how to add a legend for the chart. A legend provides more information about the series in the chart. To add a legend, I import the circular chart legend 3D module and inject it into the services. I add the legend settings object and enable the visible property. See, the legend is displayed and it is at the right of the chart by default. You can change the legend's position to top, bottom, left, and right. To change the legend's position, I set the position property and set its value to bottom. See the legend is now displayed at the bottom of the chart. Now let's make the chart more interactive by adding tooltips to it. First, I import the circular chart tooltip 3D module and inject it into the services. Then I add the tooltip object and set the enable property to true. A tooltip is now shown for every data point on the chart. By default, tooltips show information about the X and Y values of data points. To show more information in tooltips, you can use the format property. I set the format property with the X value in bold, followed by a line break, and then displaying the string gold medals, followed by the Y value in bold. See the tooltip now, it shows the specified format. By default, the 3D pie chart radius is 80%. To change this, I set the radius property and set the value as 70%. You can see the chart is now rendered with the smaller custom radius. Now let's see how to render a 3D donut chart. To do that, I simply add the inner radius property and set its value to 40%. Now you have a donut chart. In this video, I have shown you how to add the Sync Fusion React 3D Circular Charts component to a React application and how to use a few of its basic features. If you would like to try out the example used in this video, you can download it from the GitHub link in this video's description. I have also shared a link where you can learn about obtaining a free license key to use our React suite through our community license if you are eligible. Thank you for watching this video. If you found it helpful, please give it a like and subscribe to our channel.